G'day there Cigar Box Guitar fans, this is Gazza here with you again, going to teach you another tutorial today, going to teach you how to play 12 bar blues, a really simple 12 bar blues pattern in 5 minutes. Today I'm going to be playing on my Thorley 3 string Cigar Box guitar. It's a custom made guitar for me. You can probably see my initials there, GM. And it's made by Paul Thorley on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. Makes brilliant guitars, works of art really, out of recycled materials. Um, Paul's not paying me for an advertisement here. In fact, um, I'm a, just a complete amateur probably like most of you but I'm just trying to help Paul out sell a few more guitars because that's what we do in the cigar box guitar world we try and help each other out I don't get any money for doing this I just do it for the pleasure of helping everybody else get started the more of us that are playing these CBGs the better alrighty then so this is the third tutorial that I'm putting together. Um, the other two were received really well by everybody. I've got some really positive feedback. Um, people that couldn't play a note before can now play a tune on their guitar and that's really my ambition is to just get everybody started so that you can get the joy out of playing these things like I do. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, this lesson is for raw beginners. If you're an advanced player, you'll probably find a lot of this information a bit useless to you. This is, as I say, designed for raw beginners. And I'm going to take it nice and slow, I'm going to take it nice and steady so you understand what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is tune up the guitar. Um, this guitar is tuned to the open E so that when you play a chord, it's an open E chord. Now I like to use a tuning device that I've got on my phone. You can download these apps for free. This one is called Pro Guitar. And it's a beauty. Um, so let's tune up. You can probably see a red light on the guitar tuner at the moment. So starting with the string closest to my chest, the fat string, we're going to tune that to E. bit high just going to take that back a bit all right now that's in the green it's pretty good the next string the middle string we're going to tune to B it's a bit low so let's bring it up happening and the third string the one furthest away from me the thin string gonna tune that to E and that one's a little bit low so let's bring that up a bit all right it's close enough It's the open E chord, hitting all the strings together. Okay, now we're in tune. So I'll just flick this off. Now you can see in front of me that I'm using a little Fender Frontman 10 watt amp. It's a great little amp. Um, it's got all the basics. It's got some, 
I'm running this on clean channel at the moment but it's got a dirty channel too um, you can see that gain switch there if you dial that up you'll get some gain um, volume set to three and a half treble set to about five and bass is set to ten gives it a nice resonance Okay, let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is just run through this little 12 bar blues pattern. It's a very simple pattern, but I'll just run through it so you know where we're going. And then I'm going to break it down into its various parts and show you how to play it. Okay. So that's the 12 bar blues pattern that we're going to be playing and we're just going to play that over and over and over again but just in a cycle. Alrighty then. Okay, um, I'm using a brass slide. It's a heavy slide but the reason I like to use that is it gives you a lot of resonance with the guitar which is really lovely with um, Cigar Box Guitar Blues. Now, um, when you play cigar box guitar, or at least when I do, I tend to use the number three string, that's the string right in front of my chest, the thick string or the fat string. I use that as a bass string, like you would on a bass guitar. middle string and the string furthest away um, that is the middle string and the thin string or the number one string um, I tend to use as my melody makers and for when I'm playing chords so to play this little basic blues pattern we start out with the middle string using frets two and three and we use the bass string the one closest to my chest we hit the third fret okay so listen to this i'm going to play this really slowly notes you'll notice that I'm deadening the notes after I play them by moving my pick into contact with the string practicing that for a while it might take you a little bit of time to get the hang of that but you will if you keep practicing as I say this is not rocket science it's just um, 
the more you practice and the more you repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, it gets into your muscle memory and after a while you just play it on automatic pilot. You don't even know, you don't even think about it. Um, alrighty, so once again. So that's the first part of this riff, and it's probably, or well, this draw bar blues pattern, I should say, and it's probably the hardest part to master. The rest of it's pretty easy, actually. Um, now, when you play this, the first little riff that I played there, you play that four times in a row. So that's... That's one. Master that to start with, just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over. Now, the second part of the chalk bar blue pattern, we move from the third fret up to the fifth fret. So, and we slide up, and we're going to be hitting the, um, the middle string, third fret, fifth fret. And then it's going to be the fifth fret on the first string, the thin string, the one furthest away from you. I'll show you what I mean. That's what we're going to be doing on that. And so um, you play that sliding from the third to the the fifth and then hit the fifth on the first so try playing that for a while to the third fret using the middle and first string so it's see if you can do that again Bar blues pattern, pattern <laughs> um, you play that little riff twice. And then you go back to the original riff, the first riff, which is play that twice now so putting all that together we go back back to the beginning that for a while and see if you can do that see if you can get up to that point and now we're getting close to finishing the 12 bar blues pattern off so <clears throat> the last little bit of that pattern 
is where we slide from the 5th fret up to the 7th fret hitting the middle string on the 5th fret and the 7th fret and the thin string, the number 1 string on the 7th fret See if you can practice that for a while and get that into your muscle memory. And then we go, and, and when we're playing this 12 bar blues pattern, we play that twice. And then what happens next after that as we slide down to the third fret, so it's So we so on this sliding from the fifth up to the seventh, we do that once. Then we slide from the third up to the fifth. And then after that we do the turnaround, which I'll play for you in a second. So we're going once. Repeat that. See if you can get that into your head. So once again, from the fifth up to the seventh, third to the fifth, and back down to the third. And on that last little bit there, we're just hitting the open string on the first. Voila. So that's the full 12 bar blues, including the turnaround. So I'll show you how to play the turnaround now. So going back to um, where we slide from the fifth up to the seventh, third to the fifth, open. Now we're hitting Starting on the 3rd fret, we're going to go down. We're hitting the 3rd and the 1st... Uh, yeah, sorry. We're hitting the 3rd fret and using the 1st string and the 2nd uh, string, the middle string. So it's... Third fret middle string and the first string and we're sliding back from the third up to the seventh one more time
there we're sliding from the third all the way to the seventh. Put a little bit of vibrato on it if you like. And then we're gonna go back into repeating that whole 12 bars again. So that's it. That's 12 bar blues, very, very raw 12 bar blues. Once you get the idea of that, get that into your muscle memory, you'll be able to play that and then improvise on that and yeah, work around that, add to that, um, add some more flavor, add some more tricks to that and build up on it. And uh, we might do that next time. So over and out for now i hope you got some value out of that and um if you've got any questions or anything just uh send me send me a, a message on youtube and i'll get back to you as soon as i can all right have fun playing and remember <laughs> there ain't no rules in this just make it up as you go along improvise all right catch you later see ya <laughs>